This is Tara, and today I have a question from Lauren H. of Portland. She asks, who are the Portland Buckaroos? Well, Lauren, in the 1960s and 1970s, the Portland Buckaroos were a powerhouse and Oregon's only true sports dynasty. However, Portland had a long and storied history that stretched back to the early 1900s. So let's take a look back in time and tell you about the origins of hockey in Portland and conclude with a final look at the Buckaroos that made the Memorial Coliseum the place to be on Saturday nights. In 1928, a new hockey league was formed, the Pacific Coast Hockey League, and the Portland Rosebuds were renamed the Buckaroos due to the fact that the general manager and coach, Bobby Rowe, thought that the Buckaroos suggested a fighting quality and that the traditional Rosebud label was somewhat effeminate for hockey. The Buckaroos would play in various leagues over the next 14 years and would win the league championship in 1937 and 1939 while making the playoffs in seven of those years. In 1941, the Pacific Coast Hockey League ceased operation due to the lack of players brought on by the onset of World War II. In 1960, Harry Glickman leading a group of investors was granted a franchise in the WHL. The old Buckaroo name was reincarnated and a team was formed composed mainly of players and coaches from the old Victorian Cougars, including some of the most well-known names in Buckaroo history, like Arnie Schmatz, Art Jones, Gordon Fashaway, Arlo Goodwin, Jerry Goyer, Jack Bionda, and Jim Redeye Hay, along with the coach Hal Laco and trainer and future general manager Berlin Hodges. However, since Portland didn't have an ice arena, a new one had to be built. The new home of the Portland Buckaroos was to be the 10,500-seat Memorial Coliseum, appropriately nicknamed the Glass Palace. Construction, however, was delayed and the Buckaroos didn't get to play their first game at home until November 15, 1960. Portland started that first season as an underdog and was voted by most sportscasters and hockey analysts to finish last in the Western Hockey League. Well, Portland proved them all wrong and ended up winning the championship and Lester Patrick Cup in their very first season in Portland by defeating their arch rivals, the Seattle Totems, in Seattle. When the team flew into Portland Airport after winning the championship, it was estimated that a crowd of over 5,000 fans greeted them at the airport. Portland would continue its winning ways over the next 13 seasons and would win three Lester Patrick Cups as champions of the WHL and would produce some of the greatest hockey players in the history of the WHL. Portland not only produced great players, but was also equal to any other team in professional hockey during its tenure in the WHL from 1960 to 1974. The Buckaroos not only had a winning record against opposing NHL teams, but also won more games during that stretch than any other professional hockey team in any league. Thank you for that great question, Lauren. And remember, you can email me your questions anytime at tara at winterhawks.com.